and we are live here in Home Depot. Good morning, everybody. Jeff here. It's actually around noon. Should be lunchtime for most of you. So anyway, I just thought I would come in here and go live for you. I wasn't planning on doing a live stream here at Home Depot, but I came in here and some developments happened here. Uh, first of all, I want to bring your attention to the news. If you saw my video I posted about an hour ago, that Home, that, um, not Home Depot, uh, sorry, <laughs> Lowe's and Cobalt are recalling about 250,000 chainsaws. And uh, so I put up a video about that. So, so the Consumer Product Safety Commission is recalling 250,000 chainsaws and pole saws from Cobalt sold by Lowe's. What's up, Tyler? All right, so here's, I wanted to show you guys something here because, now I, I'm gonna give you a little education here, guys, because I told you about this on a previous live stream about two weeks ago. So if you come into some of your Home Depots and you have to find this aisle that has this, guys. What's up, Adrian and Misfit? So what we have here is you want to find these signs up top on some of your aisles in Home Depot that says either new item or no home. And it'll give you a good hint as to some new tools that are coming in and they don't have a home for them yet. And I tried scanning these SKU numbers in and they don't even show up yet. So, yeah, thanks, Stan. I got to give Stan the man the credit for that. He tipped me off to that. You know, we're, uh, he showed me the Miami Herald link for it. The story broke yesterday. And uh, let's see. So Alfredo saying, any deals with the Home Depot with the Milwaukee 8.0 and 6.0 with the free tool? Uh, we'll check in a second. I really don't have much time because I'm, I came in here to pick up some parts for an emergency plumbing fix that we were doing at our friend's house yesterday. She had CPVC plumbing. And as you know, with aged CPVC pipes, if you do anything on them, they'll, pr they'll break, they'll crack, and that's exactly what happened. So we were there till 9 o'clock last night trying to fix a few cracks. Um, let's see. Okay. So in this no-home section, guys, they have these new DeWalt. I know these are Cirque saws. Hold on. Let me back up. Let me zoom it just right. I know these are Cirque saws, but I can't get that kit number to show up on the website. So you see that green sticker there on the one on the lower left? Let me zoom in a little closer if I can get in there. I don't know if I can. Yeah, okay. Uh, hold on. So that right there, that 1005-399-814, that is the Home Depot uh, SKU number, but it doesn't come up when I type it in on the website. And I'm trying to read the kit number it, it, and I just can't get in close enough to read that kit number. It's on the lower left of the box there. So they printed it way too small on the DeWalt box. I can't tell which kit number Cirque saw that is. But whatever it is, it must be new because they don't have a home for it yet. And likewise, this one over here appears to be a hammer drill. And the kit number on there, same thing. That SKU number right there, that's the Home Depot SKU number. That 1005 399 eight seven zero that doesn't come up with anything either it's not showing up so this must be some new hammer drill don't know what it is can't read the kit number but it's sitting up top there along with those right there are vector radios yep and alfredo thinks these are christmas deals here or black friday deals maybe and let me see this is a led aluminum flashlight i don't know who makes it there's 25 of them in that box so this is where you come and let me um and i'm sorry for the jerkiness when you try to zoom in real tight like that for something far away it kind of snaps back and forward it does all sorts of freaky things but i just wanted to remind you guys come in and check in your local stores look for these no home and new item signs because that's where they throw the new stuff that comes in while they wait to figure out okay where are we going to put this stuff here so i'm not sure what's in these big boxes up here either we don't know what what's in any of those but definitely when you see those yellow boxes up there you know you're getting the dewalt okay so what i'm going to do is i'm going to bring us around the corner because when i came in earlier i met up with our tti guy and you, you know tti is the company that does milwaukee and ryobi and um before i head over there i just want to show you guys this again because a lot of people have been commenting to me after i posted this uh on our live stream last week we still have this miter saw here. I don't know why we're the only store that has this at $300. So what you probably want to do 
is if your store won't come down and everybody's telling me, hey, my store has it $5.99, they're not budging, show them this video and maybe they'll come down for you. Maybe they'll match it. I don't know. But that's the only thing I can suggest for you. Yeah, so Wayne says it might be the new Flexible Advantage. It could be, yeah. And by the way, my opinion on the Advantage, without really having looked at a whole lot of info about it, is I think the Advantage, guys, is just the Power Detect under a new skin. That's my guess. Because, you know, Lowe's gets the Power Detect, and I'm pretty sure that Home Depot wanted some sort of flavoring on that themselves. And uh, Stan says, hope, hope to be able to make the video... The new 18 volt compact bandsaw priced at 179 coming to a Home Depot near you. Yeah, that's right, Robert. That's 300 bucks for that saw. My friend Vinny was eyeing that saw. He was, I don't know if he's going to buy it or not. Yeah, so look, so they're setting up here right now. The GTI guy's right there. So look at this. We got the pack out. There it is right there. This is the pack out radio. This was, I think it was in the um, pipeline. I don't know if it was in the first video. But there's your kit number over there, 2950-20. So this is the, the charger and the radio. And it will also do Bluetooth as well. See? You got that there. 329 bucks for this thing here. Yeah. So I wasn't planning on going live, but when I came in and saw this, I go, oh man, I gotta do it. So he's kind of resetting the whole pack out area here right now. Miguel says he installed four new lights for my mom. Awesome. Hey, did you use that new ladder for doing that one? So, yeah, there you got it. It's in store. We got two of them here. These were the first two items that came in. And uh, I don't know if there was any. Yeah, they, he said he was looking for other stuff that may have came in. And he said he got these from up in that new area that I showed you right around the corner on the back side upstairs there that had the uh all of the new items there and leonard says half the stuff you show don't come to niagara falls a rep said southern states get a lot of them because of hurricane and the need of repairs wow isn't it 2.99 for the radio well he scanned it in here and it said 3.29 so i don't know maybe you can check online guys let me give you the uh kit number on it again because yeah we don't even have the the shelf we don't even have the shelf sticker on it yet, but there's your kit number. Or maybe someone can look that up and see if it shows up online right now and what the price is on that. Because I haven't even looked that up yet. But man, if this, I mean, even then, even $2.99 is a lot of money. The other thing we don't know, guys, is is that a sequential charge? I don't know how many batteries that thing does at once. But most of the game chargers I've seen are are sequential, which I really don't like. I mean, you know, once in a while you run into a position where you got two batteries that are dead because you, you, you forgot to charge one or two of them and, and you need to get them up and going like pronto. You don't want to wait 90 minutes for one and then 90 minutes for the other one. Let me see if I can find that, uh, that rigid bandsaw you were just talking about, Stan. If he knows one. That rigid new compact. Okay, so there's the model number, the RD R A604. The bandsaws are right back here, and I'm going to check. So you know, nothing else has really changed on the displays yet. We're still waiting to get some of the. I don't know when they're going to get those end caps in. We got basically a little over a month. And check it out. This store finally got the worm drive. See, I was going to buy this one last year, except this store didn't have it. So I went with that kit that had, is this the model that I've got? The five? No, mine was a little bit higher than that model number. Where is their bandsaw? Where would it be? Yeah, I don't see it there. Hold on. No, that's the sander. I don't know if they have... I don't think we have that one here. See, this store is... I mean, sometimes they try to keep all of the similar tools together. But, uh, um, let me see. There's some Bridget stuff down here, too. Let me see if they got... No, that's all Milwaukee and 
Makita. See here they kind of separated them because they have the Milwaukee bandsaw. I'm pretty sure they got it, yeah, right over here. But no rigid one because this is sort of a, they just kind of reset this whole, this is more of a pro area here. They just did this a couple of months ago. Uh, by the way, if you guys didn't see our last one, we showed you this here. This store ran out of them. But this is that M18 half-inch high-torque impact wrench that does 1,400. Uh, but we're out of them here, though. Yeah, Robert says, Jeff, you're going to make me go broke. I'm making myself go broke. Did you ever send a DeWalt in for repair? Good question, Craig. I have not, but I have a dead 5 amp hour battery that I'm going to call up DeWalt and do a video on it to see like how well does their warranty process go. All right, so here's more. Let's see if they got a bandsaw here. More rigid here. I don't see the bandsaw. Got the hand planer. No bandsaw. No bandsaw, no banjo. Uh, nothing there. And nothing has dropped on any of the, uh, the saws here. And this particular Home Depot doesn't even have the planer, which is kind of strange. Uh, we don't have that. The Lowe's has the planer. And believe me, guys, every time I go in, I'm watching that price to see if it drops. Hey, Zach. One of our guys is acting. Do you know Juan? Do I know Juan? Juan. Another TTI guy? I haven't met him yet, man. Well, there you have it, Stan. He does not know Juan. Um, I thought we were supposed to have some kind of sale on the Husky tool storage things, but it may have come off. This one has been like this price though for a while, 100 bucks off. Here's your 36 inch 12 drawer. And I'll show you the one in the back aisle. We get these in from time to time. And this stinks, man. The Milwaukee's are back up to 25 bucks. These were 19 right before Labor Day. I told you guys to get those back then, man, because it only happens for a short period of time. And that's the only that's like once a year i see those milwaukee um job site organizers drop in price see these i like these little tables these are nice i don't know what the price is on these but these are really really nice and i was thinking of getting one because like in my in my garage i i have like one of those plastic white lab table things that you buy like at sam's club but this i think is a lot classier and I think it gives me better workspace than that table does because it's a four footer. And you got a couple of drawers here to throw a whole bunch of parts and stuff in here, see? And it's on wheels. And I can still store a few things underneath. So, let me see if there's a tag. There's no prices on the back of that. But these are very rare. We get, I've seen these before. I've only seen them in here like once before. And I think they had them last Christmas, I think was the time, but I really like these. What do you guys think of these? Anybody own one of these? Anybody priced one of these out yet? Do they stock parts for the, the rigid spindle sander? I haven't seen anything on um, parts here for rigid, which is odd because we sell a lot of rigid tools here, but nothing, uh, let me see. Any deals on a 3 8 inch impact wrench? Let me see. There was something from DeWalt. Uh, wasn't there something on a deal of the day earlier this week, guys? Uh, I don't know if it was Milwaukee or what. I just, yeah, we've been so busy this week that I didn't really have time to dig into those Home Depot deals of the day that show up on the website. And there was a whole mess of Milwaukee tools that had uh, deals all right so here's yeah you're not going to get one on the dewalt that's for sure that's 249 wait that's for the i'm sorry that's for the i was looking at it. it's this one here is the 239 and this is 330 foot pounds 
And the 700 is like $319, so there's really no sale on that one. However, well, let me see. Are they doing anything here? I don't know if this if these are part of the buy more, save more deal. So remember we showed you guys these over here? So the more you put into your shopping cart online, it starts to take off money. So if you can get it up to $4.99, they'll drop $175 off the cost of your... Uh, your shopping cart there so I see a lot of these deals come by because you know I track the Home Depot links that we provide for you guys and I see lots of people ordering and what the mostly what they're ordering a lot of is this because that pretty much that pretty much satisfies half the amount you need to reach 499 almost so I, I see them we'll, we'll, they'll get like this they'll get like the work light <laughs> And they'll find one of the little $8 kits or something like these to, just to make up that extra uh, amount that they need. And these, here, see, I don't recommend this because the DB112 is basically three models down from my favorite charger of theirs, which is the yellow charger that you sometimes get in the fancier FlexVolt kits. There it is. That's the charger I like right there, the DCB118, the fast charger. <clears throat> so most of my kits... I get that yellow charger in it and that's the one uh, uh, I prefer when I get those kits and they have the older DCB 115 I pull them out and I list them on eBay you should be able to get 30 bucks for them on eBay all right let me see if Milwaukee has the that uh, well I showed you that one I mean this was the deal guys I mean, this is the deal to score right here because $252, man, you're getting 1,400 foot pounds. Okay, that's not inch pounds, that's foot pounds. So, that to me, if you can find this one, guys, and a lot of stores are selling out of them, we've been showing you this for about a month. So, our store's been out of this one for a month, but if you can find that one, that is one heck of a score. That's the, the one that just says, hey, hey, you know, I'm number one, buddy. You're a loser. Stay home. So, you show up on the job site with that, there's nothing you can't undo with 1,400 foot-pounds of nut-busting torque. So that's the one I would get if you can find it. Can't find it, though. He ran out uh, some time back. And we still have some of these left over here. Uh, the flashlights and stuff. And I'm still mulling over this deal. I showed you guys this the other night when I was in here. This is the impact of the surge. And I asked if, if, if I'm going to ask you again if, if you guys still think that's a good deal or not. I've had some tell me that if 149 was the cheapest, they've been able to get the surge. But there was a couple of deals, I think, on deal of the day this week that might have had surge in there. But you have to spend more money, though, to, you know, to buy some other tool set that you may or may not need. But 129 tool only. And also... I don't know if this recip is that doesn't belong to that because that's the hammer drill is what they're talking about here is also 129 i don't know how much this recip is and if it's sitting here like this it means it's probably on a closeout like i think somebody moved it over here from the end cap so here they are showing them side by side your m18 fuel oh is that yeah it is m18 fuel the half inch hammer drill is 129 and the surge impact is 129 also oh and what did i spot over here from rigid caught my eye there is that the uh, that's the butane one so this is 79 dollars there's your number right there to order this is 50 bucks off so this requires butane not included I don't know if there was anything else that they lowered the price on here and didn't tell us. So, Hey, let me know if you guys know anything about because I mentioned the soldering iron last week. And then an, a couple of people mentioned that they heard that there was problems with this soldering iron. But I didn't get like exact details as to what the issue was with this soldering iron. So I don't know. Maybe if I can get it as a buy one, get one, I'll, I'll look at doing that soon. So Vince was asking, what state are you in, Jeff? We are in Florida. This is in uh, Coconut Creek, Florida, just outside Fort Lauderdale. And 
let's see. Somebody was saying uh, T. Cloudry was saying Lowe's has a hammer drill and impact combo on clearance. Yeah, that was the one I showed you guys last week, and I'm going to actually try to do a second video on that either tonight or tomorrow, guys. There's that kit that's over at Lowe's, and I, I believe if you look at my last Lowe's live stream that we did a couple of days ago, you'll see me talking about it there. I'll show you the box. I, in, I, I'll show you the box in the store there. And um, when I got home that night, numerous people all over the country were, were telling me they saw that kit anywhere from 252 down to 175, and a couple of people said they even got it for 145. And that's a tool-tool combo kit that's priced normally at 389 on Lowe's website. So if you guys are looking for a real cheap deal on, um, not necessarily cheap, but I'm talking a real good deal on a combo kit with a DCD996 hammer drill and the DCF887 impact driver, that is the kit to get. And I know a lot of people are telling me, oh, that's the impact driver that Vince said catches fire, blah, blah, blah. Well, I've been using it for three years and it's never caught fire for me. And keep in mind, sometimes in those tool test raws, those guys are going through all sorts of material and stuff in a way that you wouldn't use it. You would be using a drill, not an impact driver for some of that type of stuff. So you got to take that with a grain of salt also. But that kit is a darn good price, man. If you can get that kit for $175, you are kicking butt and taking names because at $175, it is, and it's pouring down rain outside too, damn it. At $175, that kit over at Lowe's is $100 cheaper than the best price that Home Depot has had that kit for back in April here. When I first showed you, it was $279 over here, but, but the slightly different version of that kit, it came with that yellow supercharger that I told you guys about. So... Um, JR is asking, is that 252 for the kit or the tool only? It's a kit, bro. It's a kit with a bag and two 4 amp hour batteries, if I remember correctly, and the impact driver. And I mean, it's an unbelievable deal. Um, absolutely unbelievable deal. Let me just see if they have a 4 amp hour battery here at Home Depot to give you a sanity check on what the price should be. Yeah, 109, that's what I figured, 119 bucks. That kit comes with two of these, so that alone is worth uh, $238, right? And if you if you can, many stores are finding it for $175. Now, when you find that kit, you'll find it online, and it'll say $389 online. Don't don't just walk away from the deal and go, oh, it's $389, I'm not going to get it, blah, blah. Go into your store, go into your low store, get the box, bring it up to the register, like I did at my store. And I had them scan it to see how much it is. And in our store, it was 252. Other areas are reporting all the way down to 175. And I had like three or four people tell me they got that deal for 145. So I'm going to make it a point to go back over in there and uh, get pictures of me with the box, and then you know go home and do a kind of a uh, a review where I talk about it and how to get it and where to get it. And you may have to look up high. You know, remember I showed you. Over, you know, we're in Home Depot now, but pretend you're at Lowe's and I always come in a point, so you have to go up there and look for the kit up there to get it. And that that's how I got that three tool woodworking kit for $2.99, that DeWalt kit. And I'm actually getting ready to do the, the review video on that. But when you add up all the parts in that kit, that's $2.99 right now at Lowe's, that three tool DeWalt woodworking kit, those add up to over $700. That was a great kit too. And a, n a number of you, have reported back to me that you were able to get that kit, and that which is really nice. All right, so listen, guys, I got to get out of here. I'm taking some of this stuff over to our lady friend's house to finish the repairs and giving her a new steel belted hose on her toilet. And we had to make several holes in her bathroom wall yesterday to fix the CPVC cracked pipe issue that we had. And most plumbers in Florida right now are charging like 7000 to repipe your house to get rid of that crap. So if you saw the tool vid review video that I uploaded the other night for the Ryobi uh, PVC, uh, the cutter tool where I compared it against the Milwaukee, I showed you on brand new CV CPVC pipe how well it works. But on old pipe, forget about it, it cracks and shatters. You can't use it on the old stuff at all. You just can't. So... As I head out to the cashier, I'm going to take a, just a quick look here, but I, I just wanted to thank you guys for joining us today, and I hope you found this informational. 
And if you did, uh, and if you didn't get your questions answered, leave them down in the comments below, and I will answer them today when I get over to our friend's house because we're going to be sitting around waiting for drywall mud to dry, and we'll I'll have plenty of time to answer your questions then. All right, guys, thank you so much for joining us, and we will see you on the next one.